Hey, good morning. Uh, this is Mark Edwards at Cape Yachts. Uh, we're here in uh, sunny Miami, Florida. This is uh, February of 2022, and we're going to give you a quick tour of the amazing new model of Swift Trawler 48. Uh, it's just being introduced here at the show. Uh, a number of boats have sold already, uh, so this is going to be a new master hit for a group Beneteau. Uh, I'm going to take a quick tour through and I'll show you just some of the basic features, but I hope you will contact me for more details. Uh, uh, this is Mark Edwards, my cell is 774-526-0914. My email is mEdwards at capeyachts.com. Uh, that swim platform we were looking at is submersible. Uh, it's got the little hooks for the uh, dinghy installation. Uh, we'll go up on the flybridge in a minute. Uh, you can see a really big cockpit here, also uh, great for entertaining. Uh, this is one of the um, features of most of the Swift trawlers, uh, at least the modern ones, is that they have an asymmetrical deck. So a wide walk around on the starboard side, a little bit narrower on the port side. Very easy moving around. Uh, you can see I'm uh, just doing this with a handheld camera. And uh, just take you a quick on the foredeck. Really nice place to hang out with friends, get a little sun, uh, and, uh, and uh, have a beautiful anchoring situation also. Uh, dedicated anchor lockers, a big anchor windlass with a capstan. So uh, uh, very easy to manage this up on the foredeck. I'll give you a look back at the windshields, and then up on the flybridge, which has the optional hardtop. And that center of that hardtop does slide back. Let's go back in and we'll come in from the uh, from the cockpit to the main cabin. Although there is this side door up here to starboard right next to the helm. So as we pan the uh, cockpit, this is uh, a really big, comfortable space. So this has a sliding glass doors and you can open just one or both and uh, get quite wide open. The connectivity from the cabin to the cockpit is terrific. A uh, really big refrigerator and a really big freezer below that, uh, so household type appliances. Uh, this has the optional electric cooktop and microwave. The standard would be propane cooktop and uh, propane oven. Uh, again, this would be space here for a washer dryer, uh, excuse me, a uh, dishwasher. And uh, this is just storage on this boat. Uh, but uh, again, a beautiful galley arrangement and uh, this is a single basin sink but a large single basin so that's really good and um, what I love about it is it's right here back at the cockpit so you're here a part of the salon uh, and the entertainment in the inside and you're part of the uh, uh, group that's just having fun outside so this is the uh, white oak wood uh, it's really beautiful this is an optional arrangement for glasses and uh, dishware. Uh, this uh, boat offers several different finishes. The white uh, is the white oak is one, and then this is the lacquered and louvered door option. Uh, they have a darker wood option also. So uh, you can see this is quite beautiful and a very contemporary. So uh, there's grab rails around, and uh, and uh, of course lots of glass visibility around the boat is just uh, unbeatable. Uh, you have curtains that uh, do enclose separately this uh, sleeping area uh, so somebody can still come up from uh, down below and uh, escape and get out if they want to and not disturb people sleeping here. Uh, that leaf folds over and uh, somebody sitting at the helm seat uh, can be part of that. So uh, this also goes down to make up into a bed. Uh, so uh, you can have as many people sleeping on board here as you like. Uh, you got the um, uh, helm console, electronics install, uh, and uh, got the uh, joystick control, and you got the door out and a door out through the hull, which is one of the great features of the uh, Swift Trawler line that make it really easy to drive this boat short-handed. So. Um, that's it, let's go down below and uh, see what's going on in the interior. Now this is a three stateroom boat. So you've got what can be either twin beds or a double bed in this port side guest cabin. And in the starboard guest cabin, you have another 
double bed where you sleep with thwartships. Uh, this is your washer dryer here in this cabinet. Uh, all these cabinets have some natural air that can uh, uh, give you some ventilation. Uh, let's rotate around. This is your day head. Uh, so you've got a separate stall shower here. Uh, good size uh, commode and a very nice uh, sink and vanity. Uh, this does have a door, a uh, direct door into the port guest cabin. So that is an en suite for your VIP guests. Uh, and then for you, the owners, uh, we have a really lovely cabin. Big center island, queen size berth. Got really big windows out the side of the hull, which is great. Some natural air. Uh, you do have this uh, hatch right here with the shade and screen. Uh, and uh, again, there's some nice padding features here, so it's not all just wood. Now on this boat, this has got the shower, which is a separate stall shower here. Doors right there. Nice, nice uh, fixtures. And then you have the sink vanity, and then you have the toilet right here. So that is all en suite to the owner's cabin. So we'll come back up the stairs. We'll take a quick run up to the flybridge so this video is not too long. And, uh, and then I'll invite you to come and take a closer look in person. So this is a very easy ladder to board. Doing it one-handed, you can see that's very easy. Uh, and you come into a really terrific social space here. Uh, this is a large, uh, large flybridge. You've got seating on both sides, and uh, you got uh, plenty of uh, companion seating for the helmsman. There's the center helm seat. This uh, seat here to port, the backrest goes uh, back and forth, as does the one on the starboard side. So you get the L-shaped settee uh, to starboard, the straight settee to port. Uh, you can have 10 people up here very comfortably and everybody could be enjoying themselves. And again, this uh, hard top is an option. You can have just a bimini or nothing. Uh, this piece goes down, so, uh, I mean, opens up, I should say, so you can have as much air up here as you want. And then here you've got um, another optional grill, and then there's a refrigerator underneath. Got quite a bit of room in the back. That would be an area there for a life raft if you were going to have one. Uh, you can have canvas around in the trawler fashion. Uh, or you can uh, make this a little dance floor, set up some chairs and tables, and uh, have another social seating area. Uh, so, uh, really a great place. You're going to spend a lot of time up here, I believe. Now, so this is the uh, home console for the Flybridge. Again, you got all the controls, all the electronics, everything you can do downstairs. Uh, you can do upstairs and this is your view from uh, the helm so your sight line is right there uh, you can see your length to the water is uh, just a few feet uh, so you're not going to miss anything uh, so that's it uh, it's a beautiful boat it's a brand new boat uh, it's, it's a, a high value boat it's a lot of features in here for the money so i invite you to give me a call again it's mark edwards from cape yachts and my cell is 774-526-0914. And my email is medwards at capeyachts.com. Thank you very much.